Kamenekcha. 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 Oh, oh. Yeah, we should fucking. I never, I never beat Jet Set Radio. I barely played it. We have one friend of ours who was uh, one of the small cameo roles. Oh, really Nasir, cameo. right? Yeah, Nasir. He was in uh, a couple of Sisme episodes. Very small role, but he fucking loves Jet Set Radio. He's like obsessed with that game. He's actually bugged me to get us to play it. And I'm like, well, I mean, oh, it's Jesus. not a bad game. I just, no, no, neither one of us really got into that, I don't think. Oh, wow. You guys are fucking me up. Like, I even looked on, like, his, uh, his Xbox gamer tag profile, and he's got the one where the, the brick wall comes down, and he, like, the little symbols come up, you know, swing, swivel left, swivel right, and he yeah. tags Jet Set Radio on it. Like, it's a really cool little, like, avatar thing you can buy, but... Oh, I tried to dodge. It didn't work. Mmm. He's dead. I just want to have fun. Oh, I guess we don't go back into limbo, limbo when we already have the moves. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know. Because he didn't go when he got when you got the uh, arbiter. There's yeah, there's like limboception in this game. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Like right here, he's supposed to have like a memory flashback, and then I think that's I think this is where it happens. Yeah, yeah he's I having think... it, he's having it right now. You're supposed to go to like limbo. limbo. Yeah, there's okay. I was worried that by, by us going back, we're not gonna be able to go back to these, but these are still a pivotal part of the game. Um, these are still critical to story. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, we, it's it's happening. Did we miss one? No, 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 no. It, this is the first one. You don't find them through finding the arbiter, you find them to like crests and mm, random little yeah, trinkets. Okay. I personally think these areas look fucking fantastic. Yeah, they look really goddamn good. Um, the Ninja Theory knows how to design a fucking environment. Like, oh my god. This is some of the most, like, visually interesting places in the entire Devil May Cry series. I don't know. I, I can sing this right. game's praises, and I can also, you know, and also preach its downfall. But, shit, that was close. Uh, but there's a lot of things this game does really well. Like that look right there, it just looks wrong. Awesome. a great shot, you know? Yeah. Teaching you the platforming. Pull bitch. Oh, and yeah. there's this real interesting aesthetic is that red is right, left is blue. And that those are the buttons you need to use in your controller. Uh, it all falls into the political scheming of this game. The right and the left, red and blue. If you're from Europe and watching this, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking clue. None. Actually, you couldn't ask somebody to be uh, least, so... least interested in politics than me. Yeah, no, I always wonder, too, when, like, um... You know how, like, everyone in America... Over there? You know how, like, most people in America don't know shit about their own politics? Yeah. And then, then you got people, you know... And we know, you know, even less about other world you know, politics and leaders and all that. Yeah. I wonder how many people in Europe actually pay attention to, like, what the fuck goes on over here. Who our president like, is do we, and stuff do, like that. Do we really think we're so self-important as that other... Or can't go up there. You know, other countries would pay attention to our, you know, presidential debates or whatever. Or are they like us, where, like, you know, they, they maybe focus on their own problems and not worry about the rest of the world? Get over here. No. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the big angel baby. And, you know, I... Like, I couldn't tell you who the Prime Minister of, of Britain is. I knew it used to be Tony Blair, but I don't know who it is now. You know? And I don't know, you know, the, who's the head of France or, or, you know, Spain right now. Right over here. So, it makes me feel stupid not knowing that, but... Oh! same time I wonder like is it is it just is us? Is one of those things? Yeah. We're so full of ourselves. Jackie Chan, I saw this on Reddit. Jackie Chan made this one comment. I mean, Jackie Chan isn't this huge political figure, but he was saying something along the lines of like America's the most corrupt country on the planet. Oh, I don't know. It kind of depends on your depth or what kind of corruption you're really talking yeah. about. Because there's I a mean, lot of political corruption. In you could go to like a lot of less rich countries, and you can just like you could just straight up buy, you know, people what, and people land, people and land, and <laughs> yeah. whatever, just just with money. You know, I mean, in a way, but it's like 
is that corrupting? Yeah, that's corrupt, but it's like it's almost a more open corruption. Like yeah. corruption is usually when something is like um, beneath the surface CD. Yeah, like this game. There was like a um, yeah, exactly. There's there's this really funny thing I was reading. Like this major credit card company, like Capital One or Chase or something like that. Like, um, Chase like a, is a bank. It, well, you know, it, yeah, Chase <laughs> okay. eventually so became a bank because they bought out um, they bought Washington, out, what, Washington, Washington Mutual. Uh, Anyway, how like ninety percent of their money is tied to uh, tied to the mob or tied to drug money? Oh yeah, it's something crazy like that. Sweet, hidden stuff. I just destroyed the entire fucking floor of my house. <laughs> That's a secret mission we already did. What are they called, Simmons? Secret Ooh. mission. Secret mission. Oh, you mean the secret mission? Thank you. Secret mission. Thank you. Q an avatar joke. I'm gonna be pulling some walls, excuse me. Uh -huh. This never gets old too, like this whole like traversing and pulling things in and out of walls and stuff like that, because it's never the exact same thing you're doing. Um, which is why I really dig it. Fuck that, I don't need it. Speaking of mob stuff, uh, my dad told me an interesting story the other day. He um he was saying that you know how like uh, garbage trucks that um you used to have two guys always operating it. Right. One guy would drive, one guy would get out, and, you know, he'd yeah, put yeah, yeah. shit on the whatever things I would dump it over. Um, all trash trucks across the country pretty much are, only, are operated by a single guy now. They have, like, that, that crane that comes down on a, on a little and chain. And it does it for them, yeah. It picks its thing up. All but one. There's one place in this country that doesn't use that and still has two-person operators, and that's New York. Why? Well, you know, it, it kind of ties into the whole union thing, where the union is so strong in New York, they would never allow something that would put, you know, people out of business. But he told me the reason why the union and is so why the pull of the refuse department in New York, the reason why it's so strong, like strong enough to the fact that they can overlook saving a bunch of money by, like, you know, cutting down the one-man workforces, right, is because it's tied to the mob. The mafia still... Or mob jobs. The mafia controls, still controls that, basically. And it's like, you know what? In a weird way, they're doing a good thing. They're keeping people employed. Yeah. You know, they, mob jobs, they, yeah. they control this this sector of, of the city or, or the people's workforce. And they're not going to let, you know, their people go out of work. So... You know, because, so, <clears throat> because a machine can do it for them. So what you're saying is that Mundus isn't all that bad of a guy. Oh, Moon... Well, I mean, look at him. I mean, he's, he's a bad guy simply by his taste in women. But... <laughs> But uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, it's it's not a, not everything in this world is as black and white as it always seems. Yeah, it can be yeah. very colorful, like this game. My mom uh, worked in Vegas for a long time with the Rockettes and, and that kind of stuff. And back when the mob was super in Vegas, like well, they the started is, it. They started it. The mob's kind of gone from Vegas now, but they fucking ran like everything. Thing. Like, you watch <laughs> Casino or something, it was yeah. based off like a true story, I think. You know, it goes to show you, fucking A, people were getting murdered left and right. Yeah, but it's hit. almost kind of depressing when you think about it, too. Like, it, it, it almost loses some of its, like, charm. Uh, I don't want to say charm because it's such a terrible thing to say. It, but, because it's built around sleaze and corruption. But yeah, you know? like, this whole, like, idea that this whole city was built through mob money and connections and stuff. Yeah. You know, and to it, feed on the. The under the undergrowing needs of humans to gamble and to have sex with things, you know. Well, I don't really think you know. I, I'm just not one of those people that really thinks gambling is that all that terrible of a thing. It's like, yeah, people get addicted to it and it becomes a terrible thing, but that's the that's their fucking choice and their problem. It's you know we don't we don't need to be the government doesn't need to be a force that sits there and says. You can't gamble because you'll lose all your money. Oh, you know, combos! Like, if you're stupid enough to waste everything on gambling, then that's your personal problem. That's yeah. No one else's. Yeah. So yeah, the most gambling I did was when I went to the Bahamas for my for my honeymoon. Yeah. Which is really funny. That reminds us, we need to go to Vegas again. <clears throat> yeah, we should. We should go to Vegas and tell people we're going to Vegas. We can go to like insert coins <laughs> and have a fucking grand old time. <laughs> insert coin, yeah. That'd be great. We only went to Insert Coin once. That I we went to remember. Insert Coins two years ago, like, for Evo. I like the idea of it, but it was like, we got in there and the music was just blaring so loud because they had some DJ playing in the back. I was like, you know... And the third strike machine wasn't working appropriately. I get it. 
You know, I almost, there's a part of me that's just like, look, if I want to hear club music, I'll go to any one of the 50 bazillion clubs in Vegas. Wait. Can I please just come in here and fucking, you know, play video games, play some arcade games, have a drink, whatever. So can I just do that? And if you are going to play, like, you know, loud-ass music, play fucking video game, like, dance remixes and shit. God, that bugs me so much. Like, Well, it's not exactly for, like, the hardcore gamer audience. I don't know. Well, it's like, you know, you know me. I love going to conventions and stuff like that. I love hanging out with the fans and you know, seeing them. And I love that. And But Ooh. the dances they have there, they always get these who just play fucking hey, whatever's playing currently in current clubs, which you could go to any... You know, any day of the week around probably, Hollywood yeah, if in If I wanted to watch, you know, a, and, a fucking Bieber, listen to a Bieber song or listen to a Fergie song, you know. Yeah, or a Katy Perry or whatever. And, you know, and like... And I'm I, going this way. Fuck it. It's like, and I Fuck like... police. You know, I like Ludacris, I like T-Pain and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like, I could listen to this at any club. There's a billion clubs in Hollywood. I can go to them. I could hear this music. I could dance to this there. Like, when I first, first started going to conventions, I was really... Um, I was kind of like uh, impressed because like originally it was like remixes of like anime and video game songs and I thought that was this is fucking cool this is like this is for me you know this is this is for this crowd and then like very quickly it, it they Turned stopped doing that they just like yeah. oh we got these DJs they're gonna play club music like you know we give a shit <laughs> our nerd culture cares so much about <laughs> you know the latest hit you know by Fergie that's actually it's the Black Eyed Peas Fuck Black Eyed Peas You know you know how much I hate Black Eyed Peas Yeah I don't mind some of their stuff uh, ooh. ooh This is the part where I couldn't get to before Yeah 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 Fuck and You still can't Still can't get to it <laughs> No I'm still fucked Alright hold on Properly time this jump Now everyone's gonna be angry at us If we drop this conversation topic What do you mean you hate the Black Eyed Peas No I hate the Black Eyed Peas I don't mind them as much Oh really, there is to it I, I, I find their songs like Stupid and repetitive Hey, do we have this key? Damn it! Oh, we missed it at some point. Fuck! Uh, that happens. It's mostly because of I'm a Bee. I, I hate that song with a passion. I'm not a big fan of uh, Feel Good Ink either. Really? No, I hate it. Huh. Huh. Well, what do you know? The Blue Rose. It's almost Shakespearean. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, and this leads me to another flashback. I remember this. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. <laughs> it's just such a fucking rape of the English language. Cause like, <laughs> it's like contractions are not, you know, are two words put together, not five. <laughs> I thought contractions happen before pregnancy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 It's like giving birth through your mouth, is that what you're saying? No, no. <laughs> no. Oh, God damn you, Max. Because <laughs> I'm a be is one word, and it's I am going to be. Yeah. And that's five words, and you just, like, <laughs> you just <laughs> mashed it together make, into one. Make, I'm a bee. You make an English sandwich out of it, you know what you're saying? Whoa. It's <laughs> like how people don't say two anymore, they just write the number two and U is no longer a word it's just the letter U I and mean, even Nintendo's like you know propagating that too we'll end everything with U uh, like there's a store on the other side of town and when I first saw the name of it driving by I was like what the fuck I couldn't figure it out because it was S-H-U-Z space U space L-U-V Okay, so I was like, shuz you love. What, what, shuz? Oh, what the fuck is shuz? Shoe love? It's shoes you love. It's shoes, yeah, shoe love what? or something like that. Sh and I was looking, I was like, shuz you love, shiz, shoes? Shit, shit you love? I was love? like, what the fuck is shuz you love? And they're like, no, it's shoes you love. I'm like, that's so fucking retarded. <laughs> oh, he's dead. It's like in Vegas, they have those, um, in all the mall outlets, they have shoes, which is S-H-O-O-Z. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> shoes! Well, like, I got oh, that. that <laughs> it's like, I got that part of it, but it was like, shoes you love, shoes oh, you love is just... You too! Stupid. Work. Hmm, goodbye. Give him a little AOL. Goodbye. 
Uh, yeah, you get this also this thing for environmental kill. That guy just died because you knocked them off the edge. Uh, if there's cliffs and edges, oh my god, use them in this game. They, they help out so much sometimes. There's some of the platforming we were talking about. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he, the, the jumping is way better in the skin than the other Devil May Cry. The jumping and, like, yeah, the, the controlling how and where you're jumping is pretty precise. Um, they do a really good job. The problem with the old Devil May Cry is he had this very, um, the momentum was always, like, odd. Up. Yeah. Very straight up. Yeah, and, like, and it, it took a lot to, like, jump forward, and even then you still, your trajectory was more um, focused on, like, the vertical rather than the horizontal, no matter what you did. I think this thing is, is it might be Mundus, but it's like a metaphor of Dante's lock memory. I guess. It's a visual metaphor of Dante's trapped soul. His trapped devil. Now I'll kill the angel baby with the glowing fetus heart. Get over here. Stupid baby. Yeah, you can get this one move called kick, where like you kick someone off after you pull them over to you. But uh, you're saying it actually isn't very useful. Because like, yeah, you know, I don't when, like you, it. when you pull that baby down and you pull them over to you, you kill them in one hit with the Arbiter. However, if you kicked him, you wouldn't be dead from it. You'd just get knocked back and you'd still have to deal with him. Well, with that thing, it, is, it does require a little bit of timing. Come over here, baby. Okay, remember. Enjoy your own bomb. <laughs> yeah, the bomb you just threw. Like I said, I, I think friendly fire is cool. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some enemies that'll like charge the shit out of you and stuff like that, and then they like ram themselves into other and other enemies. That's actually you have to take out some of them. It's mm -hmm. pretty pretty tits. Next time on Devil May Cry, this picture is pretty tits. <laughs>